What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode and season of Minecraft modded or hardcore modded actually uh, with Project Ozone 3. Hopefully we can do better than we did last time because I sucked balls then. <clears throat> Just checking the difficulty you can see is hard on Titan this time uh, instead of I think it was Mystic last time. The only difference is of course the recipes are a bit different maxing out some of the settings there as well. So although I don't normally play Minecraft on the channel as such, Minecraft is one of my favourite games. And I'm playing it anyway in my own spare time and I'm recording it so I thought I'd put it on. It won't be as put out as much as the other videos unless this does actually get some attention where you guys are actually wanting to watch it. That depends on you. Likes, subscribes, etc. Well, tell me what you prefer. Now, this is hardcore, so if you die, you are dead. There is no repercussions. There is no lives. There are no lives within the game either. The actual questing part uh, doesn't give you lives in this version. Though I do love doing stupidly overpowered randomly. I want millions of everything just because I can. Now, of course, playing on Garden of Glass, which is the Britannia map, which is similar to Sky uh, mode. Now, I am collecting these living roots because combining, I think it's four of them, makes a sapling. So, I don't want to die, but I want to make sure I can harvest as many as possible. And I've gone down to bedrock to get the free dirt. You can see there, 24 dirt blocks. Why not? Vein mine is a part of this mod pack, uh, and I am using it, as you can see. But I don't have any magnetism, so I'm trying to get as much as I can, but failing miserably. Now, there is a quest book that we will work our way through. Uh, there are items up there in the top left-hand corner. You can see, though, they are the favourites from my last save. So don't worry about those for now. Uh, I'll wipe them out and we'll start from scratch. This first episode will jump quite a bit ahead. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see me smacking dirt to get these pebbles for three hours, like you have to do in the first start. Of course, if anybody does prefer to watch the more long-winded watch me do all of it, I can post that up in a more of an outsourced way so you can watch it at your leisure. Um, but for now, we're going to jump ahead and just uh, keep it trying to be as interesting as possible. So after collecting a few stacks, almost four stacks of pebbles, you can see two by two makes a cobblestone block. Um, what we want to do with that is turn that into as many cobblestones as we can, then do our best to get a crafting table and turn the cobblestone blocks into slabs. Whether we use the cobblestone to make the slabs or whether we use the planks to make wooden slabs, irrelevant, but you want to use slabs because, of course, you can't spawn on slabs, or the mobs can't. Crouch, as it stands, is a fertilization tool for this mod pack as well, as you can see, which is why I'm crouching. Can't do it too quick because it causes a sticky key thing to kick off, which, yeah, that's annoying. Um, but also sprinting works as well. Now, as soon as we can sprint and not just run off the edge of the map, um, I will do that. A lot of that is wasted, of course, because we don't have the floor to collect it. But going into the oak ward, we can turn that into two planks. It's not quite what you're used to which would be four but of course expert packs usually do make the recipes harder and a log to planks isn't quite what you would do just in your pocket so that's why it's reduced just going to keep doing this jumping it does not work um i tried it to save me having to spam shift but it don't work so you have to spam shift or you have to run now running on this small area is not advised for anyone Turning the wood into four planks, we can immediately make a crafting table and we are now on the way to greatness. Everything starts from the crafting table, right? So I was going to use stone there, you see, but then I changed my mind immediately because wood is easier to get than the pebbles and therefore the stone. So if we use wood, now wood burns is its downside and that is not where I wanted that. There we go. Um, so I'll just go out here now and start to make a platform. Remember to hold shift when you are doing this so you can't fall off the edge because that would be tragic. Uh, again, falling off the edge would be the end and we'd have to start again. Now, at this point, it's not really the end of the world, is it? I mean, you just chop a few trees down, you're back to where you was, but I don't plan on dying for the sake of it. 
Now let me know if you have any ideas, plans, or if you are enjoying these sort of mod packs, what you would like to see me do. I will be going all the way through if I can survive that long. Um, obviously the end goal is the Chaos Dragon along with the armor, the Infinity Armor, which makes you immortal. Even to the void, at that point then you can't lose really in hardcore mode as far as I'm aware. Um, again, there is end game stuff like the animator wand, I think it's called, where you basically turn blocks to living animals and then you can farm them forever. We're going to have crazy fields, massive, massive farms, um, and fancy, fancy foods. Any automations that you want to see or would like to see my take on, let me know. But I will be automating pretty much everything. Um, I am not an, a redstone expert per se, but I can use redstone from mods. Um, so not the genuine redstone where you put it down on the floor and do blocks and stuff, but piping and stuff with mods and that sort of stuff I can easily automate. At least a nice bit of space now, so I can try and collect this, but miserably failing, as you can see. As close as I can to try and vacuum up that. Now, the advantage to using the vein mine is everything you vein mine always spawns or drops right in front of you where the first item drops. So that's why I managed to absorb all of those. Replacing the whole floor now for wooden planks means that we've got all of the grass, or no, no, not grass yet, the, the dirté, the dirté as I like to call it, to use to make grass, but we'll need grass seeds to do so, and that will allow us to start spawning some non-hostile mobs, some passive mobs. Now, I will use the wand a lot. And frequently, and as soon as I can get some diamonds to make a diamond one, I shall. This one has a maximum of tw uh, nine, I think it is. So that's why we're not quite extending the base as quick as you probably used to seeing. Dead of night, but I have actually managed to extend the base ever so slightly with a few spikes sticking out of it to show what I'm going to do, like a grid pattern that I'm going to go for. And then all of the dirt I threw out like that, so I could do a nice simple line of saplings. And then run and sprint up either side of them to make them grow quicker. And of course, vein mine them down. Be careful though, the grass, the dirt, um, will be spawnable for mobs in the dark. So you will have to be careful of that because it is a full block. Two and a half stacks of cobblestone from them pebbles. That was a lot of pebbles. Uh, and then compressing the pebbles to make the compressed cobblestone. And eight of the compressed cobblestone makes a furnace. Or a furnace, as I like to call it. Random words and names for various different uh, items. Whether it's from random YouTube streamers and Twitch streamers, etc. I've watched, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have weird words for certain items so apologies if that's confusing now of course to start off we want charcoal if you burn a log and then burn a log to a log to make a charcoal the charcoal that is much more efficient at burning than the log so that's how you get your first fuel especially in a situation like this where there is no way of getting coal now the quest book let me know how you want to see on the quest if you're interested or not. I'll keep you up to date with where I am. Else I can just ignore it altogether. Obviously you get a diamond there to start with. Six dirt, some saplings and some rack. The rack is the currency of the game that is used for rewards based on quests you complete in the quest book. You also can use rack at the trader for trading for seeds and saplings when you can build the trader that is. So by the next day, I've managed to gather plenty of trees um, and the dirt there is where I was just quickly throwing together some extras, uh, making some saplings as well. I've got loads of saplings at the minute. Now at this stage, it's fine. You can see that sapling there that is growing, or that tree, sorry, is grey. That is because I have infested it with the, yeah, with the silkworms. 
Um, this tree here is an apple tree. Three apples and a sapling makes an apple tree. It seems to make any of the fruit trees. It's the same. Three of any of the fruits and um, the sapling, it makes it. So using the crook, we can harvest a decent amount of string from that tree. Obviously, remember, vein mining does use your food. Of saturation etc so you will need to be careful you don't starve yourself to death there but to be honest ripping down this apple tree and the fact that we've now got an apple tree where we can just run around and it causes it to fertilize then we've got infinite apples i am not however going to let my health stay low just because it's a dangerous thing to do especially if you get in to damage and you can't heal Cooking some of these silkworms will give us some protein to move forward with um, while we don't have as many apples. As you can see there, I'm going to get the juicer as soon as possible because apples are a bit crap. Uh, apple juice is really decent for the sake of requiring just a juicer that lasts forever. Okay, so rinse and repeat a bit further on. You can see we've now got a uh, averagely structured platform. All of it being slabs, so it shouldn't allow any spawning. Uh, of course, the, the, the dirt still allows that unless you light it up. We have had, I think, one or two random mobs pop up, but nothing, nothing significant, nothing to worry about, nothing that you can't just punch off the edge. Um, but you can see there, that is my structure that I'm going with at the minute. I think they're 11 by 11 all around. Um, my aim, though, is not to keep this shape. Uh, I haven't decided what I want yet and what resources. I'll be honest, I've played Minecraft so much and I have all different ways of doing things, uh, but never really shown it to anyone before. So uh, hopefully you're not expecting me to be one of these guys that uh, does these fancy buildings that looks like real things, because I can't do that. What I can do is make it contrasty. I think I'd like to do a checkered floor. Basic, maybe checkered based on the chunks. Um, but that is going to be a long way off. For now, this is going to do. And I'm going to make do with what I have. That is all of the dirty we have. So I'm going to have to make that last. Up until the point where we can start making dirt with the barrels and saplings or leaves or whatever it is that we may use to do that. This is as many saplings as we can plant for now. So if I sprint around, they should grow pretty quick, giving us a plenty of plenty of sticks, wood, logs, uh, saplings, apples, that sort of stuff. It, it, I'm not too worried about that situation at the minute. My concern is twofold, really, that wood burns. And also, any of the torches that you see that are placed are fine. But if you pick up one of them torches and place it down in the world, or sorry, drop it in the world, it will set fire to the map. And at any point, it could burn away a tile and I could fall through it and die forever. In turn, I want to start getting some form of armor as soon as I can. Now, you have to do it in tiers. It's expert packs are always the same. And the st to start, you start with leather. Now, you can build leather armor, the first stage of the leather armor, without leather, actually. Uh, you can use cloth. You make cloth, which makes woolen sheets, I think it is, and then you use that instead of leather. But you do have to start there and work your way up. If you obviously get any armor, like iron or something, from a mob drop, you can use that. Um, but we're not going to be having any mobs anytime soon, because I'm lighting everything up, because I don't want to be fighting while I'm at this stage. No armor, no weapon. So the next stage in any of these mod packs, I'm telling by the quest you can see there, is to do sieving. Now, a lot of this, a lot of sieving you will see. We well, won't. I'll skip it for you. Don't worry. Um, but the more of them you build, the more you can do at once. It auto connects. You start with string sieves, then to flint, then to iron, then to diamond. And the process or the results increase based on them levels. And you can sieve everything from gravel, sand, dust, and dirt. I don't think you can do dirt in this one, actually. Um, but you can also do netherrack and stuff that's crushed with a hammer. Now, this giant set of trees here, I'm just going to throw some silkworms on and leave them alone for a bit to allow them to give me a crap ton of string. 
uh, hopefully in the fact that I won't need to do that again but you will need to leave it alone for a day or so just to do it now you can see that's actually traveling pretty quick um, quicker than it used to actually I'm not sure they must have changed that because I've changed nothing and with all that additional stray that made it so I could make enough of the sieve tops to do a decent amount of sieving when we get there now although the sieves are complete uh, we need cobblestone uh, which we can then smack into gravel which means I expect a montage of uh, smacking dirt for pebbles is coming up shortly because we don't really have a choice at the minute with all the additional string though Two by two on the string makes wool, three wool, and planks makes a bed. Nice and simple recipe, nothing to worry about there. Which means we can sleep through the night to save any worries about phantoms if they're in this. But more importantly, just to save the dark from random mobs popping up and blowing me off my own platform. I will likely get some fences up shortly just to make sure I'm extra safe. Um, just seeing if I can build any cheaper weapons, but... No, we start with we do a wooden sword, yes, an iron sword, stone sword. Eeh, I'm not going to get a diamond sword anytime soon, that's for sure. I've got to knock down all of these now, which should give us the wood back. There was some um, string tree there as well, but I didn't get it because I didn't actually crook the leaves. I just went straight for the wood. I'm actually after the dirt, though, so I can right-click on that for pebbles. We need pebbles and lots of them in order to turn into something we can sieve. So after all of that, you saw me also use the hammer to smash the cobblestone into gravel. We're now going to sieve that. I'll do this once just for those that haven't seen this process before. For those that have, I'm sure you're sick of seeing it. But we'll do it the once just so that we can see what we get. Now you go through one by one and as you can see, we're actually sieving about 15 blocks at once because of course that's how many, well it's 16 in it. Is it four by four? Yeah, so we're doing 16 blocks at a time. If you had one sieve, you'd be doing one at a time. If you have five by five, you'd be doing 25 at a time. So that's why I've done it this way. I wouldn't usually do the larger ones with uh, like diamond sieves. So at that point, I, I would hope that it's automated. Rock candy is a uh, item you get. You can eat it. You can compress it to make the better rock candy, but it does give it does cause you damage when you eat it. So I would advise against it. And obviously, there's an everlasting gobstopper there, but you need dragon's breath, which is from the end that's nowhere near. So doing that gives us flint and flint only, and we need to turn the cloth or the string. Yeah, we go. The string meshes into flint meshes. Six flint to one string mesh. So that's what we need to do. You can see we need a lot more flint, which means we need a lot more cobblestone, which means we need to do a lot more punching of the dirt again. And punch the dirt I did. So quite a bit longer. You can see there's sort of 18 plus stacks of cobblestone, which means that's 72 stacks of pebbles. So yes, I left the old clicker going quite a while. Uh, now we need to save enough now to get us upgraded to the flint meshes so we can start getting actual resources and that's what I'm going to do next. At that point we can then start getting some actual resources that we need, i.e. iron and all of the other metals that come with it. Now on day five we have indeed smacked a lot of hammers using the stone hammers. Upgraded to the meshes now you can see we have ten of the flint meshes which means we'll now start getting the metals and the various other items you're not going to get things like diamonds emeralds redstone uh, from gravel but you will get your gold silver uh, iron copper etc and to do so we need to then collect all of these shards you then combine the shards up now it does get a bit messy to start with um, again you're not going to have to watch it you're not going to have to go through the pain that I had to go through 
I'm going to store it all as best I can and then compress it and start getting it cooked. We do have a furnace and they're easy enough to make. There's no automations in place here really, but it is a case of it has to be done. Now, with the shards that you get from the sifting that we're doing now, you need to combine four of them. So, four iron shards to make an iron chunk. And then that chunk is cooked in a furnace to make a single iron ingot. You can use other means to double that efficiency, like a smeltery, but that, of course, is much later on. In the meantime, I just need to continue to push through and get all of this gravel turned into whatever resources we are going to get from it. So at least we can look at getting some iron tools. Not a bad shout there. A couple of stacks of, nearly three stacks of iron. So that's nearly three stacks of iron ingots uh, when it's cooked up, of course. Lots of candy for food if we need it, but I will probably stay away from that. Some gold flint, a bit of coal as well to run the actual furnace. And some lapis lazuli, as it's known in, uh, well, my house. Um, and then we'll get the trees growing again. And back over to smashing some rock and some gravel. In the meantime, though, I am going to end the episode here. Around the 20-minute mark is how I like to do it on all of my videos. So I will come back when I've done all that smashing of the rock to save you having to go through that boring process. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe for more. Let me know what you want to see and what you want to change, and we'll look at doing that. Depending on the uptake of you guys is depending on how often these episodes will come out. But rest assured, I am playing this game anyway, so it will be posted. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please like and comment. It's welcome. As always, take care. Goodbye.